girl who was named Sam. Sam did not have a friend, but then he met a new friend. His name was Alex. Sam says, will you be my friend? Alex says, yes. They played together and played. They had fun. Then they found a ball. They played catch with it. It was getting darker and they were tired. They fell asleep. Once upon a time, there were three cars. Their names were McLaren F1, Lotus Elise, and Ferrari F40. They loved to drive around their favorite race tracks for hours and hours. One day, a big scary car named Hummer th uh, H3, he could run over them. The three cars got scared. McLaren said, we have a secret, and you don't know what it is. Get out of my way! He was puzzled. But I will let you go now, H3 said. But next time, I will send a much stronger and scarier car and they live happily ever after. wrote a story called The Great Forest Sounds. This is the Great Forest. Do you hear the wind? Do you hear the snake? Here's a snake. It sounds like this. What does the snake sound like? Do you hear the mouse? There's a little mouse. What does the mouse sound like? Do you hear the frog? It sounds like this. What does the frog sound like? <laughs> I like you, frog. Do you hear the birds? What do the birds sound like? It sounds like this. What? Do you hear the bug? It sounds like this. It's going to land on you. Do you hear the water? It sounds like this. What do you think it sounds like? Do you hear the ducks? They sound like this. Do you hear the fish? They sound like this. Do you hear the lizard? This sounds like this. Scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. Scurry, scurry, scuttle, scuttle. Do you hear the squirrel? It sounds like this. What does the squirrel sound like? Hi. There are many animals, aren't there? Shh. The animals are sleeping. Shh. That ends. Um, Molly's story is Cassie the Chameleon loses her colors. Cassie the Chameleon never really appreciated her colors until one day she lost them. All her colors were gone. When chameleons walk on colors, their skin is supposed to change colors. But when Cassie woke up on a green leaf, her skin was not green. Cassie's skin was gray. A bland, dull, and boring gray. <laughs> Cassie was so sad that her colors had changed. But fortunately, there was a magic caterpillar named Carl who lived in Enchantia. Enchantia was full of animals that had magic powers that could help other animals with their problems. So Cassie walked many days until she reached Enchantia. When, Ca when Cassie first got to Enchantia, she noticed a big sign on a home that said, Carl the Caterpillar's House. Cassie said, wow, that was pretty easy. So Cassie knocked on Carl's door. When Carl opened his door, he said, hello, I'm Carl the Caterpillar, how may I help you? And Cassie said, hi, I'm Cassie, and if you haven't guessed, I'm a chameleon, and I've lost 
all my colors. Do you think you could help me? Why, yes, I can, said Carl. And Carl walked over to a big brown desk and rustled through the drawer. And he pulled out a big map. Carl said, now, Cassie, you must go to all these places in Enchantia and meet every single one of the people who live in their homes. And they will give you one or two or three colors each. Thank you, Carl, said Cassie. You've been a lifesaver. And Cassie gave Carl a big hug, woo, because she was so grateful. And she went off to the first house. Well, when Cassie looked at the map, the first place she had to go was Ralph the Rabbit's house to get the color red. Cassie skipped to Ralph the Rabbit's house. <coughs> and Ralph greeted her with a nice warm hello. When Cassie told Ralph about her tragic story, Ralph said, Oh, I know what will do the trick. A spell from my coloring book. The rabbit took out a very small book and said, Once this animal goes to bed, she will wake up in the color red. Cassie was so full of joy and happiness. She wanted to get her colors quickly, so she said goodbye to Ralph and went off to the next home on her map. After Cassie left Ralph's house, she took a look at the next house on the map, and she got so excited because the map said, once you get to Izzy the Iguana's house, she will give you three colors, orange, yellow, and green. Cassie ran to Izzy's house as fast as she could, and by the time she got to the house, she was tired, worn out, and very exhausted. Izzy offered Cassie the chance to take a nap on her couch. And fortunately, once Cassie got up, she had turned into a beautiful color of orange, yellow, and green. And Izzy said, drink this potion, sweet cheeks, and you will get the most fantastic colors of orange, yellow, and green. Cassie drank the potion and hurried to the next house. And on the way, she noticed that orange, yellow, and green had started to appear on her skin. <laughs> When Cassie glanced at her map, she realized she only had to go to one more home. Cassie felt ecstatic, but a little bit upset because her journey was coming to an end. Cassie was going to bury the Blue Jay's house. When she was in his home, she was so relieved that she would get her colors. Barry went up to Cassie and said, Well, Cassie, the only way I can give you the colors blue and purple is if I play a jazz song and you sing the song. Well, Cassie felt excited to sing and get all of her colors back. Barry gave her the words to the music and started playing his song. And while Cassie was singing, she noticed that blue and purple appeared on her skin. Cassie smiled a big, happy, and joyous smile. And since Cassie had gotten all of her colors back, she wanted to help other animals with problems like the one she had. So Cassie moved to Enchantia with her neighbor, Carl the Caterpillar, and now Cassie loves her colors, her life, and Enchantia. This is how Cassie the Chameleon got her colors back. Pete the Penguin. One day there was a penguin named Pete. Pete was not like other penguins. Pete has problems like breathing fire and walks fast. One day... Pete realized he was scared of whales. When he is scared, he breathes fire. He met a dolphin named Dina Dino, helped Pete by suggesting ideas. One idea was to tape his mouth shut, but then he couldn't breathe. Then he tried to not go outside, but then he could not eat fish. Finally, he tried to not go near water, but then he could not cool off. Dino found a way to scare whales by going behind him and splashing water. When Dino scared whales, Pete walked away very fast. Brother versus Brother Once there were brothers named Shab, Top, and Lob. One day Lob got very mad, so Lob made machine that will turn 
people into a frog. Then Lob caught Top. Then Lob got the machine. Then poof, Top was a frog. And Lob was happy. But when Shab came to see Top, he saw Lob. Then he saw Top. Shab was mad at Lob. Shab said, what did you do with Top? Lob said, I turned Top into a frog. Change Top back to a person. I can't because my machine is not working. I got it, said Shab. I have a machine that I made in the year 2006. Here it is, ready? One, two, three, poof. I am back to a person, said Top. Let's fight, said Lob. Let's fight, said Lob to Shab. Uh, let's not fight, said Shab. The brothers are friends again. Tell us what fabulous school you go to. <laughs> Is she going to ask who the best teacher is?